What does it mean to be a master of money? I think the first misconception I wanna put away quickly is people think, oh, it just means being rich. I can assure you, I know plenty of people who are wealthy and are not masters of money because they're spending it like there's no tomorrow. One of the worst clients I ever saw, we set them a budget of 200 grand a year uh, because they had the money to do it at the start and they couldn't stick to that budget. They couldn't live on 200 grand a year, which was just incredible. And now five years later, they're you know, heading towards bankruptcy like and not having anything left so don't think of it it's just being about being rich yes it's a component of it but it's not the only thing what I mean by being a master of money is not uh, having to truly worry about money on a regular basis your decisions are made not by money but you make the decisions for your money you see, I think of it like kind of like the Godfather, you know, where someone's, you know, you've got that, you know, someone's always pulling the strings uh, like a puppet. And a lot of people, money is the one pulling their strings and they're the puppet. I want to reverse that relationship. You're the puppet master, money is the puppet, and I want you to start pulling the strings. And some of that is making sure you've got the systems in place so you never have to worry about paying a bill again because you've got a budget and a system in place that sets aside money every single week or fortnight, however you get paid, to ensure that every single bill that you've got covered. And it also ensures that if things go wrong, you've got a buffer in place in there that you can access to fund those bills that were unexpected. It also makes sure that if things do really go wrong and you've got a plan B in place to ensure that uh, your, your income is looked after if you have an issue with your health. And it also makes sure that you are got a plan, a structure and a direct path in place to build wealth. Yeah, it's building wealth for you so you can retire earlier with more and enjoy it with those that are important to you. It's building wealth for your family so that your spouse doesn't have to work as, you know, as many hours doing whatever they're doing or your, your kids to make sure they go to the best schools and the sporting events and get the best you know, start to their life or it's making sure that your parents are able to be looked after. Whatever that might mean for you, that's what I want to make sure you're building wealth with and then finally it's making sure that you're building wealth for your community so you can have a real lasting impact and legacy on the world around you. And that is what I mean when it comes to being a master of money.